Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will learn how to use the LM317AC as a constant current source. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, Upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method, and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. The LM317AC is very easy to use. It only has three pins, which are adjust, output, and input. This AC is normally used as a variable voltage regulator, but it also can be wired to produce a constant current output. This is the way in which we connect the LM317 as a constant current source. We have the input, output and adjust pins. We put here a resistor at the output, a capacitor of 0.1 microfarad between positive and negative of the input voltage and here is our load. Our load will have a voltage drop of delta V and the input voltage here, which is DC, must be 3 volts larger than the voltage drop of the load. So, for example, we have a load that drops 2 volts, we need to apply at least 5 voltage at the input in order for the circuit to work properly. The value of the resistor R in the circuit is calculated in the following way. We divide 1.25, which is an internal parameter of the LM317, by the current that we want at the output. So, for example, if we want to drive an LED at 20 milliamps, then we divide 1.25 over 0 0.02 amps, and this gives a value of 62.5 ohms. Therefore, if we want a current of 20 milliamps, we need to add this resistor to the circuit. And if we want 100 milliamps or 0 0.1 amps, then the resistor needed is 1.25 divided by 0 0.1 and this gives a value of 12.5 ohms. The power on the resistor will be equal to 1.25 times the current. So, for example, in the 20 milliamps case, the power will be 0 0.025 watts. And in the second case, with 100 milliamps of current, the power is 0.125 watts. So in both cases, a half a watt resistor is more than enough. And here's the circuit on breadboard. Remember that for 20 milliamps, we need a resistor of 62.5 ohms. I am using two resistors in series one of 47 ohms and the other 15 ohms, which gives 62 ohms, pretty close to the calculated value. Okay, let's test the circuit. I am using an LED and I have the multimeter to check the current. Let me turn on the power supply. And at six volts, we can see that we have 20.15 milliamps, just the value that we calculated. And we can verify that if we change the input voltage, let me put 8 volts, the current remains constant. I'm going to use uh, 15 volts, and we still have the same current and the LED is working with its nominal current. We say that there is a minimum voltage for the circuit to work. 
let's see I'm going to lower the voltage to 5 volts we still have 20 milliamps but if we use 4 volts then the input voltage is not enough to give the required current let's now check the voltage drop at our load that is the LED we can see that is 2.2 volts so this plus 3 volts is 5.2 volts which is the minimum voltage needed to have a constant current output of 20 milliamps that is the reason that when we put a voltage of 4 volts the circuit no longer worked properly now let's see the second example for 100 milliamps which required a resistor of 12.5 ohms and I am using a 12 ohm resistor which is the closest commercial value and for a load I have this small incandescent lamp okay we can see that we have a current of 104 milliamps pretty close to the 100 milliamps calculated but we are using a slightly different resistor and also resistors have a 5% tolerance in its value and of course we can vary the voltage 12 volts and the current remains constant okay that's all for today i hope you liked the video and see you in the next one